Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebener with Video School Online here with another awesome tutorial on how to make a beer themed lower third. I was brewing a batch of beer this past weekend and it got me thinking, man, it'd be so cool to do something in After Effects that is related to beer. So, I went ahead and created this awesome lower third with the beer theme. So I wasn't, I didn't try to make it like realistic looking exactly like beer, but if you can see here, we got our foam, we got our bubbles, uh, we got our, our name, we got, you know, the lines in the glass that makes it look like it's a glass of beer. Super classy, super cool, super neat. And I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So check it out one more time. Comes up, bubbles float. We got some, uh, we got some foam on the top, foaming. Super subtle, all of it, but it's it's a great technique uh, and one that's super fun. All right, so first thing first, as always, go to composition, new composition. Set your size here. We'll call this beer tasting. Fifteen seconds. Is, we can make it about ten seconds. Alright, so now we have our composition. I'm going to fit it up to 100% so that it fits in our screen. And then, first thing first is we're going to make the beer. So the, the golden beer with the bubbles floating up. So we're going to go up to Layer, New, and Solid. Then we're going to select a goldish beer color. Okay, like so. Then we're going to go to our effects and presets over here, type in bubbles, and we're going to use CC bubbles, drag and drop it onto our color. All right, we're going to set the effects, so over here in the effects controls, we're going to change some of these settings. Bubble amount, we're going to do 1000. Uh, liquid is good, shading type, we're going to, let's see what these different ones are, fade outward, Darken, light in. I like the fade in word. That's going to look a lot like bubbles. We're going to decrease the size. So, where it says bubble size, we're just going to decrease it until it looks a lot like beer bubbles. That's probably pretty good. Maybe 1.5. Awesome. All right. So, then we're going to duplicate this layer. The bottom layer, we're going to delete the CC bubbles, then we're going to change layer se solid settings, so go up to layer, solid settings, we're going to make this a little bit darker, so you can go down here on the color a little bit, maybe make it a little bit darker, so you can start to see the bubbles coming out, but not completely, so we're going to go up to our bubbles layer, I'm going to rename this bubbles, I'll call the bottom one beer, the bubble ones, I'm going to play through the, uh, go through this, our transfer mode or blending mode. To do that on a Mac, you press shift and then the plus sign, plus or minus. Or you can just, in the mode, just click and go down until we find one that looks good. So I like light in, screen, linear. All these can work. We're just basically trying to make the bubbles stand out a bit more. Subtract is uh, a little bit too much. So we're going to go with something like, uh, let's see, maybe lighten or screen. Okay, so there we have a subtle bubble effect. We're going to pre-compose these two to create a layer. So go ahead and select both. Go up to layer and pre-compose or right click and pre-compose. We'll call this beer layer. Alright, so then I'm going to make this 50%. I'm going to create the shape of this lower third background. So we're in this beer layer layer composition now, so we're going to go back to the beer tasting one with our pre-composed beer. Make it 50% take our rectangle tool and just create a little bit of a lower third shape 
Actually, we're going to go across the whole bottom. Then, to get this nice uh, wipe that I have here, so you can tell here, there's like a nice kind of gradual fade across. We're going to add a linear wipe. Linear wipe, so type in linear wipe in there. It's under transition. And then we are going to drag and drop that onto our layer. We're going to go wipe angle to negative 90. Then wipe completion to about, we'll say, start out at 50. Then we want it to fade, so we're going to feather it. So add about, you know, 300, 350 feathers, or feathering. I'll go up to 500 to see what that looks like. 500 looks good to me. I'm actually going to make this transition complete a little bit more. Let's try 65. Uh, a little bit less. See, it's all about playing 55. That's looking good to me so far. Alright, next we want to create our um, white solid uh, beer foam, basically. So, let's go ahead and create new solid. We're going to make it white. Okay, in our effects and presets, go ahead and type in fractal noise. It's under noise and grain. Add it to it. We're going to change a couple of these settings from uh, the fractal type. We're going to go to smeary. So that's going to make it look a little bit more like beer foam. And we're going to uh, change the noise type to uh, foamy like. Alright, then, so right now it basically stays still across the whole uh, uh, time. We're going to add some evolution to that. So go ahead, at the start of our um, composition timeline, just click this time stopwatch right there next to evolution. Go to the end, and then type in 2 to that box right there, where it's 2 times. So that's... 2 times 360 basically is what it's saying. So now if you go across time it will evolve and it will kind of look like it's foaming. Alright, so next thing we want to do is I'm just going to put this beneath our beer layer for now so that we can see it. Then we're going to uh, create a mask around um, around the white foam so that it will be on top of our beer. So go ahead and with your pen tool, I would zoom in so that you can make a straight line. So with your pen tool selected, just go ahead and make a mark at the corner of the white, uh, of the top of the beer layer, and then just over here somewhere. Make sure it's a straight line. And then from there, just kind of make some arches back. So click, I'm going to drag. Click and drag, 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 and then complete the solid. And there we have the beginnings of our beer foam. We want to make it a little bit brighter, so we're going to actually, in the blending mode, we're going to go add. So that's going to make it look a little bit brighter when it's on top of an image. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this image in there. This is a great image that my uh, lovely girlfriend took at her birthday party. With some nice corn. I don't want our beer layer to be added. I want our white solid foam to be added. That'll look really awesome. So let's move it around. Move this image in the background so it looks good. I want to add a little bit of feathering to the edge of this foam so that's not completely sharp. So press F to bring up feathering of the mask. And let's try 20 pixels. That's looking pretty good already. So actually, I think I did screen on the previous one. So I'm going to, instead of add, I'm going to go ahead and do screen. That's looking good. Alright, so now we have our beer foam, 
layer and our bottom box. All we have to do now is add our text. So let's add a couple text layers. So go up here to your text tool and go ahead and just type in your information, your name or whatever information you want. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer just by con control C, Command C and Command V to copy and paste. Now let's see if that works again. Make sure that it's selected. Yep. Okay, and then on this bottom layer, I'm just going to type in uh, my title over here. So I'll make that more of a bold italics. I don't want it all caps, so I'm going to take off that all caps and decrease the size. I'm going to increase the size of my name, give it a little bit more prominence, and just make sure they're aligned. Then I'm going to, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to parent all of these items to my beer layer. So to do that, you select all three, then with this little swirly icon, click and drag it to the beer layer. Alright, so then I want to make these nice little lines, if you can see them here. Uh, there's some nice lines that I use to kind of make it look like a beer mug. So if you're like, if you have like a beer mug, uh, you'll have like the, it's not per, it might not be perfectly round, and I think it gives it just a nice little effect. So uh, let's go to our beer tasting layer. All right, I want to create a new layer, so go new layer solid. This time I want to make it black. And then with my mask tool, with this rectangle, I just want to make a really thin line. So just like that. I'm going to move it down to the edge of my beer and my foam. And once I have it aligned, I'm going to change the, the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to put this beneath my text and then I'm going to just drop the opacity I press T when this is selected that brings up the opacity function and drop it down to 40 then I'm just gonna duplicate it by command D or command C command V paste do that again and make sure you like space these out as even as possible Maybe one more and as you can see, since it's overlaid, um, I want to make these ones on the right a little have a less opacity. So it kind of ramps up. So that first one I'll make 10. The second one I'll make 20. The third one I will make 30. And the fourth one I'll keep at 40 along with the first one. All right, I'm going to parent all of these to my beer layer as well so I selected all of them click the swirly thing and then drag it over to the beer layer alright so now I want to make my beer lower third rise up and then rise back down so around one second I'm just going to use keyframes to do this so select your beer layer, layer press P to bring up the function uh, the position function and click the stopwatch then go back about you know three quarters of a second and just go ahead and click down until the whole thing is off the screen so this is going to make it rise up I'm going to lower the quality so that we can see it rise up on this second keyframe I'm going to right click it select keyframe assistant and do easy ease and then at the end of my composition or whenever you want it to disappear I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this for the second keyframe then the first one I'm going to copy and then go about three quarters of a second layer later and paste it so that it disappears 
One more thing that I want to do to make this look a little bit better is for this fractal noise layer, I want to make it have the same linear wipe as the bottom beer layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this linear wipe to the white solid. And so there we have this nice kind of fade over here as well. And that is pretty much it for our fancy beer lower third. Um, so you can play around with it. Uh, make sure that you have the right settings or, I mean, you can customize it yourself. And uh, it's super awesome. Um, and one thing I want to do is uh, this contrast. You know, you just play around with it for the brightness of the white. You can play around with these settings, make it a little bit brighter so that it stands out. Uh, play around with the evolution settings so that you get the right kind of foaminess. Um, but other than that, this is a great sort of uh, lower third if you're making a um, video about beer or just you want a fun, cool lower third to add to your add to your movie. So I'm going to render out. So thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, if you have any questions, classes, uh, and everything else like that, if you're interested in any of my courses online, I have a great deal for you guys. Just on Udemy, if you go to any of my courses, type in the code VSO deal, you'll get 25% off any of my courses. Awesome, guys. So let's check this out. We've got our cool beer themed lower third. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.